Hello and welcome to the Mentally Stronger podcast. I am making this episode really, really early in the morning because I am jet lagged. <laughs> I just uh, flew back from Switzerland to Australia, which was over, I think, a 24 hour flight. And apparently my body is still operating on Swiss time. So I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to make you this episode. And today I want to talk about a really important topic, which is how we define success in life. Why is this so important? Well, one of the reasons it's so important for us to explore this for ourselves is because the culture and the world around us hold material success and individual achievement, as well as the idea of specialness, as the highest values. This is an idea that is constantly promoted to us through the media and through advertising. So the question is, is this working for us? Is getting stuff and doing stuff our own true definition of success? So you might remember in the 1980s, Madonna released this really popular song, Material Girl. In it, she sang about how we're living in a material world and she's a material girl. And the message was that cash and clothes and cars and nice possessions, as well as status, those material things, promise feelings of success and happiness. It's a promise that, despite many of us sensing to be an empty one, still wields an enormous power over how most of us are structuring our lives and defining success for ourselves. In fact, Research from psychology professor and researcher Tim Kasser shows that over the last 30 years, more and more young people are buying into this idea of materialism as success. But do material goods really lead to the good life? Should this be our definition of success? Or should we be ignoring Madonna and listening to Paul McCartney when he's saying, I don't care too much for money because money can't buy me love. Well, Tim Kasser's research suggests the latter. For over two decades, he's researched how the pursuit of materialistic goals, that is money, stuff, and status, over pro-social goals, family, values-based living and community, how the valuing of materialistic goals over pro-social goals negatively impacts both individual and societal well-being. In his book, The High Price of Materialism, Tim shows that materialistic values undermine our well-being. We tend to be less happy and we're more likely to experience anxiety, depression, low self-esteem and problems with intimacy if this is our values system. This is regardless, by the way, of age, income or culture. These values, materialistic values, perpetuate, he says, feelings of insecurity. They weaken the ties that connect us with others in our lives and the community, and they make us feel less free. So here's the takeaway. When we strive to acquire status, wealth, and achievement in an attempt to gain happiness, we might in fact be pushing happiness away. Now, every day, we're still going to be bombarded with these messages from advertising and media promoting this idea of success to us. What they want us to prioritize, what they want us to believe is important, right? So today, my invitation to all of us is to take a step back and think deeply about what success really means to us, not what anyone else tells us, but what we truly value deep in our hearts. And this will be different for all of us, perhaps. So maybe your definition of success might be raising a loving family or looking after your health. It might be living sustainably and simply. That was one of my uncle's uh, value system, and he lived quite a, quite a happy and contented life. Maybe for you, it's about making a meaningful contribution in the world or in the community. Maybe your definition of success is to wake up each day and be grateful for all of all that you have. Your values might be about being a great parent, partner, and friend, or making your life a great adventure. My own definition of success is really simple. It revolves around being kind. 
whatever success might look like to you. See if you can get clear on that today and in the week ahead, start to move your actions and your way of life closer to your definition of success and then see what effect that has on your state of mind and the quality of your relationships and the quality of your life. Now, as a a parting note here today, it's important to know that, hey, there's nothing wrong with having nice things or achieving big goals. There's also nothing wrong with living simply or humbly either. What's important here, the most important thing is that the goals and values that you're focused on in your life, that you're sort of basing and structuring your life around are truly your own and truly do lead to you having a more happy, fulfilling and meaningful life. So I I wish you well with this practice today of kind of gearing your life back towards your own definition of success. And if you want to let me know how you go with it or you have any questions, drop me a line on social media. All the links for that are in the show notes. And you'll also find in the show notes a link to Tim's book and the research as well. I hope this was helpful for you. All the best. Take care and stay strong. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And if you know someone who you think might benefit from listening to this episode, share it with them. Sharing it could really help them feel better and improve the quality of their life. And if you'd like some more in-depth support on becoming mentally stronger, come and check out the coaching and training options that I offer on my website. Thanks for listening. Take care and stay strong.